Okay, Carl Ravitch, uh, thank you. You're looking at the Michigan State cheerleading squad, and uh, there's been silence here in the Breslin Center the last couple of minutes during the timeout as the cheerleaders were performing at midcourt. One of the cheerleaders on one of those uh, situations where one cheerleader raises the other one up, came down awkwardly and uh, hit the ground, and now medical personnel uh, and emergency medical personnel who are on site at every game are uh, looking at the cheerleader at midcourt. Uh, we can show you as uh, the timeout was happening, and matter of fact, the officials were over here talking about the call that happened a moment ago. One cheerleader went down, tipped the arm of another male cheerleader. You see a uh, young lady come down at the center circle there, and she has been down here at midcourt for the last two minutes or so with all the medical personnel over there looking at her. Her eyes open. She's been uh, speaking with the medical personnel looking at her, but certainly grave concern in the uh, euphoria of the timeout and the conversation going on with the fans has uh, turned into uh, complete silence and all the medical personnel on both sides uh, out there looking at this cheerleader so uh, certainly a scary moment and concerning moment for her fellow cheerleaders and everyone here at the Breslin Center as they are concerned about one of their fellow students we'll take a timeout Okay, Carl, Hubert, and Digger, thank you. The uh, medical personnel has put the cheerleader at midcourt there on a backboard. If you're just tuning in, uh, she fell. She was being held up by one of her fellow cheerleaders, and someone else knocked into him. You can see her eyes blinking and talking. We've seen her uh, hands moving. Uh, it's been about six or seven minutes since this happened. And as happens in any sporting event, the athletic training staff and doctors and EMS folks on hand have full understanding of how to immobilize someone and take the greatest care as one they look at them and then simply bring them off. You see her smiling, you see her moving her thumbs there. And certainly if there's an update, we'll pass it along to you. person who was organizing the cheerleading group was there with her I'm sure calling folks who are related to her you see how these dominoes one fell then another fell into the arm of the male cheerleader that was holding her up and then she went down so coming down awkwardly on that neck and head area and obviously they kept her immobilized and all of her friends and fellow cheerleaders emotional and very concerned as are all of us so hopefully we'll get positive news on that